Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is the Yeti Hopper Flip Soft Cooler Review. We're going to use and review all three of the Hopper Flip Soft Coolers. These bad boys are 100% leak proof. They're tough as nails and they're packed with insulation to keep your drinks and your food ice cold for days if you need. Plus their wide mouth openings make loading and accessing all your stuff a breeze. Their cube shaped bodies make them compact and they're soft, which makes them comfy to carry. First up, the Hopper Flip 8. This little guy is your personal go-to for solo trips. It's designed to be compact, yet mighty, holding 11 cans or 10 pounds of ice on their own. So whether you're heading out for a solo hike or a fishing trip, or you just need something small and dependable, the Hopper 8 is your buddy. Its compact size makes it easy to carry, and you can stow it just about anywhere without taking up too much space. Next, we've got the Hopper 12. This one steps up the game with a bit more capacity it's perfect for packing your lunch and a few cold drinks for a day out. It holds 24 cans or 16 pounds of ice on their own. It's ideal for picnics, beach days, small gatherings, giving you the extra room you need without becoming cumbersome. You can load it up with sandwiches, snacks, drinks, whatever, and it'll keep everything chilled and ready to go. And finally, the Hopper Flip 18. This is the big kahuna of the trio, ready to carry a day's worth of food and drinks for you and the crew. It holds a whopping 30 cans or 28 pounds of ice on its own, making it perfect for larger outings. You just need to keep a lot of stuff cold. The Hopper 18 has got you covered. Despite its larger size, it's still easy to carry and it fits nicely in the back of your car or on the boat. Three sizes, each with their own mission. I've got the eight. It's the one we use for a quick lunch outside or a sunset session. If it's a day trip, that's where I'll use the Hopper M18 backpack cooler or the M30 cooler bag. We've got videos on those too if you want to check them out. But now let's dive into what makes the Hopper Flip lineup one of Yeti's most popular coolers in the whole collection. First up, the HydroLock zipper. This thing is 100% leak proof and let me tell you, it's the beefiest zipper I've ever seen. No leaks, no spills, pure cold containment. You can toss it in the back of your truck, haul it through the woods, you don't have to worry about any liquid seeping out. This zipper is designed to withstand the toughest treatment and keep everything inside dry and secure. The coolers come with zipper wax. You apply it to the zipper dock, then open and close the zipper a couple times to evenly distribute it across the zipper. That makes the zipper a little easier to open and close. Then there's the cold cell insulation. It's made from closed cell rubber foam, which holds the cold better than any ordinary soft cooler out there. I don't think this is just a marketing gimmick either. Whatever is in there, there's a lot of it, and it keeps things perfectly cold for a long, long time. Your ice stays ice, your drinks stay cold, no matter how hot it gets outside. It's like having a portable freezer that's lightweight and easy to carry. The seams on the inside and outside here are all RF welded, which is like a plastic welding process used to eliminate seams and stitching. It's another detail that makes these coolers so tough and durable over the long haul and through heavy use, anything you can throw at it. And you don't have to worry about roughing it up or getting it dirty. The dry hide shell is puncture resistant, it cleans up easily, and it's treated to be mildew resistant both inside and out. It's built to take a beating. You can throw it down, drag it through the dirt, steel wire brush it even. This shell can handle it all. And the mildew resistance means it's not gonna get a funky smell that might ruin a cooler over time. Another neat feature is the hitch point grid on both sides. You can attach accessories like the Sidekick dry gear case, making these coolers even more versatile. You need to keep your keys, phone, or other small items safe and dry. Just clip on the Sidekick dry and you're good to go. Or you can attach carabiners or paracord. The loops on the hitch point grid are sewed in like military grade it looks like. So the grid system is pretty cool and expands the capability of the cooler. All these coolers have comfortable shoulder straps and heavy duty attachment points, making them easy to carry no matter what the load is. The shoulder strap is padded with this nice soft material that's kind of grabby too, so it won't slip off your shoulder. It's fully adjustable, so you can carry it comfortably even when it's fully loaded. And the attachment points, like I said, are rock solid, ensuring that that strap stays secure and is never gonna break under pressure. The Hopper Flip 12 and 18 have handles on the side as well which would be useful for hauling with one or both hands when you've got this loaded on the heavy side. The pickup handles on all three of these are double stitched so it will handle more weight than you ever want to carry. 
And when it's time to clean up, it's a breeze. Just some dish soap and water and you're good to go. The interior liner is easy to wipe down and the durable exterior can be scrubbed clean without worrying about damage. And if it's really dirty, you can get it really clean if you want. These coolers are designed to be sturdy and simple from start to finish. They come with a solid three-year warranty. That's Yeti standing behind their product, guaranteeing that you're getting top-notch quality and durability. If anything goes wrong, you're covered. Now, let's put them to the test. We're going to put ice in all three and see how long it stays ice. This is not a scientific test by any means. It's a reasonable amount of ice in each of the coolers and we're adding some drinks that nobody wants to drink out of the fridge. And we're also checking in an uncooked hot dog. We're not gonna pack it the way Yeti recommends. They say to pre-chill the cooler with a bag of ice until it's cool to the touch. Then remove that ice and pack the stuff. Well, we're not doing that. They're gonna spend some time outside in the summer sun. They'll spend some time indoors. So the first check after 24 hours, the Hopper 8 still has plenty of ice. The thermometer has been sitting in ice, so it shows freezing. That's kind of obvious. You know, there's some liquid in there. The hot dog's in good shape, food safe still. Inside the Hopper 12, also plenty of solid ice chunks left in there. The hot dog is also in good shape still. Hang in there, little buddy. Yeah, still lots of ice there too. And the Hopper 18, not even much liquid in the bottom of oh, this one. Nice. Lots of ice left, and the hot dog is fine. Yeah, that's good. Okay. After 48 hours, the Hopper 18 has still got the most ice in it. The Hopper 12 is holding some ice still, but it's mostly melted after two days. And the 8 has no ice left, and the water is probably starting to warm up. The hot dog from the Hopper 8 is dog food now. But the Hopper 12 and 18 are still keeping things at a food safe temp after 48 hours. So there you have it, the Yeti Hopper Flip 8, 12 and 18. These are some of the most popular coolers Yeti makes and it's no wonder. You get the performance of Yeti's bigger hard coolers in a compact, functional package with Yeti's full commitment to durability and performance. You can get the Hopper Flip that's best for you from our video sponsor GP Home Furniture. For me, it's the Flip 8 because it's small and perfect for when we're out to catch a sunset or a quick lunch outside. The Hopper 12 and 18 are great if you're hauling more stuff, and the fact that they're completely airtight and waterproof is very attractive. They'll protect more than just your food and drinks. Thanks for watching, folks. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell for more cool reviews and adventures on testing Yeti.